this is going to help our students with those historical thinking connections. So like when they're doing the introduction, we're getting that essential question overview, context, the news format, and then they're, they're investigating, they're going through the primary sources, they're doing the questions, they're writing, they're putting it all together. And in the outcome, they got the how the event in journalism um, has evolved, the modern civic connections, and they're taking a look at the historical significance, the cause and consequence of what's happened on here. They're looking at those different historical perspectives. They're doing the work of historians by engaging with primary sources. They're seeing how continuity and change, some of the, the issues that were back in the day are, are different, but similar things that we're grappling with in today's society and looking at those ethical di dilemmas of, of history that, that are important for us to consider. And so I know we're very concerned in the time of distance learning with SEL. We've always been concerned about it, but I know this is a big um, topic that we're all kind of aware of. Um, this is helping our kids with self-awareness, um, identifying emotions, uh, social awareness, taking empathy for things that have happened in the past, decision-making and seeing how people have decided to take action and change course of history and, and call out things that were wrong in history um, and self-management. In the course of doing an inquiry, they're having to pace themselves out to complete these tasks. And communicating their ideas in the chosen tasks that they have taken to. So in the course of completing these, we're also helping our kids to develop those social, emotional and, and soft skills that are very important. And something I, I ask you to think of, you can also use the download that the kids have um, completed their task and consider having the students upload it to something like a Padlet or a Google Drive folder. So then all the kids can see the different points of view and takeaways from the, the products that they've created. I think it, it's important for us to share the inquiry and conclusions that the students have. And that further helps to develop that empathy and understand the point of view and connecting them with social justice standards from the teaching tolerance, um, how different kids will come at things differently. And, and so we can also bring in that collective wisdom that we have. Um, so these are just some things to consider and connections that we have with our, our curriculum, historical thinking skills, our soft skills and SEL, all those things that are very important. And we really wanna to try to help and support our kids in distance learning, which journalism and actions made for with it all being on a digital platform and, and everything right there nicely wrapped up for our students.